All right, this next segment brought to you by the National Sports Combine. Uh, the, the What are you talking about? Right. <laughs> Let me start over on that. Yeah, why not? Three, Take two, two. one. Uh, <laughs> this NFL update sponsored by the Fantasy Sports Combine. See, it's good to find out every once in a while you're not perfect reading a teleprompter. <laughs> I, I knew that long before you did. My <laughs> wife keeps reminding me. Uh, 100 days till the NFL season starts, boys. 100 days from today. Uh, can it get here fast enough? Or if you're the Broncos, would you like a little more time than 100 days to figure out your offensive line situation, get a few linebackers healthy, etc.? Well, it can't get here fast enough for me for one reason. I could die before it gets here. Because <laughs> oh, I just That's mentioned pretty great. My, <laughs> this, my birthday's coming up. I'd like for it to get here before I die. So, uh, yeah, I would. Well, All you ask is one well, more Well, in NFL Denver, season. and I wrote about it last Sunday. We, we didn't man. respond to it. In Denver, we're sitting here with, we had a dog ass hockey team, we had a dog ass basketball team, we have a dog ass baseball team. You can't even consider that for the Colorado Rapids because they're just not any good. They tie tie games. That's what they pull for is ties. <laughs> They've kissed their sister like seven times already this year. So well, people are looking forward to something they can be optimistic about. So, yes, I, I think it can't get here fast enough. Do the Broncos need more time than that? Or are they going to get it figured out by then? Um, two things. I, I, I've long believed, like Woody, that football is not – Rocket science, you know, is or, or or brain science or brain surgery, <laughs> rocket, it, rocket or, surgery, <laughs> rocket surgery, any of that. And so OTAs is is a joke. I mean, you know, it's not quite a joke when you have a brand new coach and you have new coaches getting to know or new injuries. players and, and, and all that. But I do think that you're right in that the Broncos will need the full hundred days to figure out what's their best offensive line. And I and I also believe this is that. It's highly unlikely that the five guys who start the season in the interior offensive line are the same guys who will finish the season. Not because of the injuries, but they'll have to make a change somewhere along the line to, to find their best talented group. What, what are you holding up? What is this? The name of my corporation is Rocket Surgery. <laughs> okay, there you <laughs> go. Yeah, if you look there, you can see. You Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't do the numbers if I can steal a check. But if you come back in on that, you can see that real quickly. That that's what I've always said that we d do, and and that he's heard me say it. That I, I used to I, I was doing a radio show with Herb Brown, and Randy Gradshaw played on the team, and he said, you know, Randy Gradshaw is the best fourth down and one guy in the history of the NFL. And I said, you're absolutely right. I said, the way you beat that is you run a quarterback sneak, and Herb Brown who was a coach for a long time, said, that's the smartest thing I ever heard. I said, yeah, and I didn't stay up till 11 o'clock watching film yeah, every yeah, night. Yeah. Tom Landry hit it right. You know, you get it done by dinner time and go home. And these coaches overthink everything. And so Mark is absolutely right. So 100 days, they could start next week. They, they you know, okay, line up here. It's football. It's not. It's sort of like I, spring training. I, I watched You it. don't need 30 games to get ready for the baseball season, especially uh, athletes these days. Uh, they stay in shape most year-round. And, and the, the 100 days uh, to try to figure out your best offensive line is important because you guys were talking earlier about Peter King ranking the Broncos ninth in the league. If Ty Zambrello, as a rookie, is your starting left tackle with a 39-year-old quarterback, I'd say ninth might be generous. In the league, so uh, I'm with you there. I, I don't think he'll be there once the season starts. Oh, Chris, yeah, yeah, Chris Clark. I think it'll be Chris. I'm not yeah. dissing the CSU guy. I'm saying that's a immense, huge responsibility. Yep. Come into the league, young man, and start from week one at left tackle. I will ask you. I hope they're paying him Manning. really well. Yeah, yeah. I ask him a question. I'll ask you. What are the three toughest positions for a rookie to start at? I would say quarterback number one and left tackle number two and then it's a toss-up but probably left corner because ding, it's ding, 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 ding. <laughs> because that's the right ding, side ding, of ding, the yeah. offense yeah. right there yeah and those are the three toughest positions so you don't want him there you don't want him there the put why would, yeah, why would play you good put good there because what this is what happens with quarterbacks so often is your young quarterback you've drafted high the people want to see you play early because you're the savior and then you're a young quarterback for a bad team, and you look like garbage, and everybody starts booing you, and whatever talent you had goes right in the dumper because your confidence is shot. 
the same thing can happen to a left tackle. I mean, start him at left guard. Give him a place Hide where he it. can succeed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Left guard is like left field. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's where, yeah, yeah. no, not right field. Right yeah. field is where you put a guy with an arm. Yeah. Left field is where they put Dante Bichette because you can hide, and even Corey Dickerson. Yeah. Yeah. You can Matt hide. A, you can hide a guy. Yeah. yeah. You can hide a guy at left field. You can hide a guy at left tackle. That's why I, I never understood the Orlando Franklin deal. They went through all that stuff all the year, and they had a guy that was a starting right tackle. You might not have liked him a lot at right tackle, but. He played good except in the Super Bowl. They all played bad in the Super Bowl. I, Chris Clark played bad in the Super Bowl. You know, throw that game out. It's like a horse race. You throw out one one race and you forget about maybe the best performance they have. And they go, well, uh, you know, Franklin did great out well at left guard, but he was fine as a right tackle. Chad right Brown, there. who, you know, played at a high level in the NFL for a long time, former CU star, has been on your guys' show. I'm sure of that. Yesterday. I mean, he's, he, he's, he's told me this. Don't ever judge an NFL player on his very worst day. I mean, that's just not fair because you're playing against such high-quality opposition. You've got to throw out everybody's worst game. And, sure. And I, I think... Uh, I think that, that Orlando Franklin got so far in the doghouse with the organization that they refused to let him out. Yeah, and I told Les last week he was complaining about the show that we had, and I said, throw out our worst show. <laughs> well, of course, we'd throw out every, probably 90% <laughs> of our shows. We'd be throwing out a lot of shows. <laughs> that NFL update sponsored by the Fantasy Sports Combine. The Fantasy Sports Combine is the ultimate experience for serious fantasy football players. It's coming this summer to the win in Las Vegas, July 17th to the 19th. You can rub shoulders and get advice from guys like Adam Schefter, Matthew Berry of ESPN, Brandon Marshall, the wide receiver, former coaches Mike Shanahan and Mike Ditka. A lot of people are going to be there. Brandon Stokely is going to be there. Von Miller might end up sh uh, showing Wes up. Wes Welker. Yeah, what, <laughs> Where else not is he doing anything. Go? Uh, so you can get an edge in your fantasy sports league. Beat your buddies. Get your tickets today at fantasysportscombine.com.